to check in with you guys because a lot has been happening. We were supposed to be one day out today from starting my off season. Um, but life has been extremely stressful. My life is literally in the process of being turned upside down right now. Um, and stress levels have just been crazy. I've been dealing with IBS flare-ups all week. I've been in a lot of pain, weight has been up and things just aren't looking very good. So I do wanna sit down and and talk to you. I know you probably saw in the first few clips when I was doing my check-in with my coach, um, there is boxes everywhere and we will get to why there is boxes all over my house. But first I need to sit down to my client check-ins. So that is what I'm going to do because I'm going to share one piece of good news with you right now. Um, it is currently the 6th of January. It is the first week of January, first week of 2024 and I have already hit a massive milestone in my coaching career. I have my first photo shoot prep client who just started with me yesterday. So we are currently nine weeks out from a photo shoot. So I cannot wait to document the whole process, obviously on Instagram. I will keep you updated in the weekly vlogs. And it is going to be an actual vlog in itself because I will be heading up to Northern Ireland to be there with her for her photo shoot. So yeah, amazing, exciting times, but we have work to do. So we need to check in with all of my clients this morning. I did tell them I was gonna be running a little late because I got up and I was like, I was burning up with a fever. I was like, there is no way I'm getting out of bed at 6 a.m. this morning. So I got out of bed at eight o'clock. It is currently half nine in the morning. So we need to get to work. Uh, I'm gonna push out breakfast for another little while just because I am simply not hungry. I actually got onto my laptop this morning before I got ready and I actually made myself a meal plan for today. So we're gonna track my crust today. So it's gonna be a bit more interesting. It's not gonna be the exact same foods that I've been eating every day or the exact same foods you've been seeing on the channel every single time. So I'm actually gonna condense my meal plan into four meals today, just because it is already half nine. I won't be eating for another while, which means I'm starting my meals a lot later than usual. I usually get my first meal in about half eight to nine a.m. in the morning. So since we're starting a bit later, and I do wanna be in bed early today, just to let the body recover. I have a lot of clients tomorrow in person in the studio, so I cannot be sick. Um, and there's just a lot to do, but I'll get to that. So I'm going to go do my client check-ins and I shall catch you at breakfast and we're going to have a little chat at breakfast and I'm going to tell you exactly what's been going on and what's in store for me over the next while. Also, my coach will be a little late getting back to me with, um, with the check-in today. So I actually don't even know what's happening. I don't know if we're going to be starting the off season or not. Um, or should we push out another week just with what's been happening with my stomach and the IBS and the stress and everything and being sick So once he gets back to me later today, I will obviously insert it in the vlog um, So yeah, I'll catch you at a meal number one today and I will include macros and calories today So if that is triggering for you, please click out of the video. There's plenty of my other videos you could watch um and if you're here to stay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, and head over to my Instagram and follow me there. So oh, yeah, as I said, this is only day two of prep really, so there's no point to change anything. I just wanna see how the body responds. So cardio the same, food the same. I just want to ask you, when is the last time you got your bloods done? And if it's been a while and you can, you can afford it and you have the time and a good place, to, to get it done, I would highly recommend getting your bloods done just to be safe because obviously we are in a dieting phase and the thyroid is only gonna drop lower. It's definitely not gonna um, go any higher. I would I would um, suggest supplementing with um, a thyroid stack. I'm very happy, I mean, if this keeps going, we will definitely be hitting the 50s calm shoot day. I'm excited for the next few weeks with you, excited to see what we can create together. And obviously I get the day off, I'm going to be up there with you at your photo shoot if you'll have me. And we're just going to have the best time. Now we've been through this, it was not a fail. It was a little bump in the road and we left it in the past and we're on a fresh new start, fresh year, fresh new start, fresh new mindset and we are ready to finally get the results you want as you said yourself. 
finally get the results you want. Not for a short time, not for a photo shoot, for, but for good, for a change in lifestyle, not a quick fix. This is why we are taking our time here. Nothing will change if my thinking will not change. And that is exactly it. Remember what I said, the body will go where the mind allows it. First of all, if you go back to the very beginning, we started working together at 75 kg. 75 kg. And as of today, we are on average 60.6. That is 15 kilos lighter than you were starting with me. And your composition is just so much different. So before we even get into the full day of eating, first of all, this is what you're dealing with today. I'm probably not going to take my dressing gown off because I'm sick and I'm cold. And the temperatures are back in the minus in Ireland. But anyway, uh, before I even get into the full day of eating, I'm actually going to prep a few bits for the day. Because yes, I am home all day. And I do have the time to be making my meals like from scratch. I don't like doing that. I don't like wasting time being in the kitchen four or five times a day making every single meal from scratch. So you'll see I already have my rice like batch cooked that I cooked at the start of the week. So I still have a bit left for today. I'm going to cook up some sweet potato just so they're ready for later. And I already have some veg pre-cooked. I've got some mushrooms that I fried up a couple of days ago. And I've got some tender salmon that I cooked two days ago as well. And that's what I do. I usually cook veg for about three days at a time. Rice, I usually cook for like four or five days at a time. And then my protein sources or my meats, you know now, um, most of my protein sources come from either egg whites, eggs and chicken. So um, what we do, if you don't know, get to know. We buy a massive 5 kilo um, or 4.5 or whatever we get out of it after I cut the fat off. And I cook it all up, um, wait till it cools down. I portion it into bags of five or 600 and they actually go into the freezer. So then every three days or so, I can just whip out a bag of chicken from the freezer, let it defrost and it's literally ready and fresh. Because obviously the fresher something is when you freeze it, the better it comes out tasting just as fresh after defrosting. So this is why I buy fresh chicken in a massive thing from a wholesaler, cook it all, freeze it all. And whenever I pop out a bag, it's nice and fresh and good to eat for three to four days at a time. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to bake it today for a change. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this morning. All my client check-ins are done. So I'm just gonna get through cooking this chicken. Um, cook my sweet potatoes, my rice is cooked, my chicken is cooked for today. That's for the next few days. My veg is cooked for today. So, you know, putting meals together would be very simple. And that is something I recommend um, a lot of you to do. Like if you don't have time to be like meal prepping your meals every single day for the whole day from scratch, the best thing to do is just like prep your, prep your staples in bulk, prep your veg in bulk, prep your carbohydrates in bulk. So you're like your rice, your potatoes, prep your meats in bulk even for three days at a time and then it literally takes about five to ten minutes tops to put a meal together and then my other meals I am going to make my breakfast nice and fresh today because I never get to do it so we'll do it together uh, and the rest of my meals are like oats and things like that so I don't really prep those in advance um so yeah I'm going to get this cooked up and I will catch you at breakfast I'm also going to show you what supplements I take in the morning and we're gonna have a little chat because life, that's the dryer by the way, life has been crazy. Life has been very stressful. So to be honest, I actually think I'm grateful that I'm sick because I finally got to slow down today. Okay, everything is cooking. So I'm going to take my morning subs. I usually take them in the evening to be honest. Just because like during the week I go straight to work without eating breakfast. I don't eat breakfast to my break and I don't like taking them on an empty stomach. But today we can... I love when clients check in late. Love it. She's going to have to wait now. Um, so I'm just going to take them on. So I'll show you what I take every morning. So starting with powders. These I do take on an empty stomach because I don't find they affect um, anything. So I go with a double scoop of... Glutamine. So glutamine is great for digestion, recovery. It is a really good supplement. And being someone with IBS, I do double scoop this. Alongside five grams of creatine every morning. Doesn't matter what time you take it. Some people take it pre-workout, some people take it post-workout, some people have it intra. I just take it in the morning simply so I don't forget. And then vitamin C, which obviously hasn't really been doing much, has it? 
but we take it anyway. Then we go into our pills, starting off with Train by JP um, Omega Fats. So the reason I love these is because they are from flaxseed oil, so they provide all your omegas 3, 6 and 9 and they are anti-inflammatory which obviously being a bodybuilder in training it causes a lot of inflammation buildup so omegas also i don't eat fish so i literally have no other way of, of really getting those healthy fats in um magnesium trained by jp so i actually double double take this as well just because of my stomach issues and everything i've been having my coach actually told me to double up. Normally, I'll just take it in the evening, but I've been taking one in the morning and one in the evening. I'm going to go in with a multivitamin. I always take the supplement needs multivitamin and mineral pro just because it has a few added things that your normal um, average multivits don't have, like boron, which helps boost free natural testosterone levels. And my testosterone is quite low, so we've been doing this. Um, I then go in with biotin. I do take one every single day and I have noticed massive changes in my hair, my skin, my nails. Like Even in prep, I took it every single day and my skin condition, my hair condition was so much better than it was in my previous prep. And even now being off prep, being like six weeks post prep, I have a lot of baby hair. So, so the hair is growing again, which is really good to see. My nails have gotten so much stronger. So biotin. Then D3, K2, absolute staple, especially when you don't get a lot of sunshine like we do in Ireland. Finally, on my morning soap list is the thyroid stack. So this is something I was taking every single day in prep because obviously when you are in a dieting phase, your thyroid levels will drop. Even though I was supplementing with thyroid um, hormones, I still am. I am still taking T4 but we cut out t3 we've reduced my dose of t4 in half so we are using the thyroid stack again just to make sure we keep um, my thyroid levels level so that's all my morning stuff and now let's make breakfast it is noon and we're eating breakfast it is breakfast time and post-workout time because he actually went to the gym yeah but, I didn't but he didn't finish it so i'm sick his neck is fucked. Just we're, just, we're just two broken people. Um, anyway, breakfast time. With two eggs. So I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I am condensing my meals to four meals today just because of how late I got up. I think I already said that. So I kind of macro checked for today because this is the beauty of the off season and not prep. If I want to swap things out, I'm going to swap things out. But digestion being the main, main point. But... Two eggs. Normally I just get one, so I'm very happy to make two eggs today because I'm going to scramble them. Um, with that, we're going to go with avocado. I'll give you all the amounts when I have the meal made. Avocado, um, peanut butter, and you'll know why in a second. Um, veg, so we're going a little bit of peppers, pickles, because tell me you're Eastern European without telling me you're Eastern European. Um, a bit of cherry tomatoes and a little bit of lettuce that I just dropped and to top it off normally I have sourdough bread with this meal because I do actually get bread every day now but it is a Saturday and I want to make sure my bread is as fresh as it can be for the week so I'm gonna buy it Monday but I had some cookies and cream bagels in the freezer so I'm gonna have a bagel so yeah literally that's it eggs bagel avocado peanut butter veg so I'm going to put it together and I'm going to show you the finished product. Calories and macros will then be on the screen for every meal and then at the end of the day. And yeah, let's put it together. And here we have it. We've got two scrambled eggs, veg, avocado with one cherry tomato. And this is kind of like everything but the bagel seasoning. Goat. We then have one bagel, half is gonna be savory with the eggs and the avocado, and then we've got peanut butter bagel for dessert. Obviously gonna to top it off with sugar-free ketchup. I'm not gonna film myself eating it just because my dad actually visited us, so I'm gonna go sit with the fam, and then I'm gonna make myself a coffee, and we're gonna have a little chat about everything that is going on, and why I've been so stressed, and why 
there are boxes all over the house and why I had a massive mental breakdown two days ago. I couldn't chat without making a coffee first. So, got some coconut milk. Froth it up. And yeah. And I was planning on looking cute free, but it's just not happening today. This dressing gown is just not coming off. I am looking cute underneath. I've got my boyfriends trained by JP joggers, which I love. And listen, he's like 17 kilos up from his stage weight. So they won't be fitting in for much longer. They are going to be mine. And I just have a little rash guard action there. But as I said, sick and cold. Um, so you probably saw in my morning check-in, there is big boxes all around the house. Yes, we are moving. So it's been an incredibly stressful week, but not just because of the move. The move is definitely the biggest issue, the biggest cause of this stress. Um, so yeah, A, we are moving. So we literally have to pack up our whole lives in boxes and get them out of here. Now keep in mind, I've been living in this house since I am nine years old. B, the fact that I only have about two weekends to pack this house up. Uh, I'm away next weekend and John and I are away the weekend after 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 next and uh, we're going away to Manchester for the rocket posing seminar so obviously you'll be coming along so do stay tuned for that video but that leaves us with about two weekends to to move because there is no time during the week I leave the house at 6 a.m to go to work and I come back at 6 p.m I have to prep my meals and I'm straight in front of the laptop doing client work which brings me on to stress um, factors number two. I've had, I'm very grateful for it, but it came a bit unexpected. Um, the photo shoot prep client reached out of nowhere and we had to start ASAP. I've had a couple of new starter ups and it's just been very difficult to find the time. I've been up before to write starter plans. I've been going to bed late, getting no sleep. And then obviously all of that just kind of played played a role in causing all of my IBS flare-ups because they've been happening on the daily lately. Um, yesterday I was actually bent over in pain. So obviously weight's been up, which has also been playing with me, still being only like six weeks post-prep. Um, you know, I feel I feel fat. <laughs> let's just put it let's put it that way. I feel fat. Even though I'm not, I even um I actually did a comparison today. I went through my check-ins with my coach and I found my check-in shots from this day last year I'm actually nine kilos lighter right now than I was back then and it was roughly the same amount of weeks post show so I'm not doing too bad uh, obviously adherence has not been an issue but yeah it's just been a really really stressful time and my body just reacts to stress this way and you know we've just been go 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 like during the week I go to work I go to the gym, I come home, I prep my meals and I'm straight back in front of the laptop, whether it's client work, whether it's editing. Um, I did have to park my bodybuilding coaching course because there's just no time to, to put into, into studying. And even if I found half an hour here and there with everything that's going on, I just don't think my brain would even retain any of that information. So I've decided to kind of give myself a break and go a little bit easier on myself and come back to the study when I know I can. It comes the weekend and you know I'm training. I'm in the gym teaching posing clients. I'm online teaching posing clients. I've got all my client check-ins and and yeah it's only last night we really started packing up this house and we're moving in what four weeks time? I think it's three or four weeks. Three. Three? And mm -hmm. three weeks time so literally three three more weekends in this house. I'm away two of them which leaves us with one after today and I literally had a massive mental breakdown, not gonna lie, um, but I did feel better after it. And yesterday, if I can insert the clip from my phone. Casually throw my life out the window. That's deep. Whee! What a shot. When I break. <laughs> well done. So what we did, we got a massive skip outside the house and we're just throwing away everything that we don't need and I just started throwing shit out the window out the balcony into the skip and I, I felt better instantly so I might do a bit more of that today because there's still shit to throw out I'm trying to build a business here I'm trying to build my own brand you know coached by Olivia pose with Olivia they're my two businesses that I have 
on top of my full-time job and I want to be able to build that business but in order to build that business I need to be putting time into it which I just don't have right now and it's just I think I've taken on a bit too much but at the same time I don't because I feel like everything I'm doing right now just has to be done there's nothing I can really cut out to save time like yes the study had to be packed up but I can't neglect my clients I don't want to neglect my clients I can't neglect my clients I have to go to work I have to train I have to stay on top of my meals and that is also something I'm already stressing about even though it's weeks down the line but keep in mind I am still pretty fresh post prep like six seven weeks that is nowhere near being normal and living a balanced life I'm not even properly in my off season yet like that is only coming to an end soon like this week next week whenever so like I'm literally already stressing about how am I gonna go about having my meals when I'm moving you know like I know it's stupid and to a normal person it is stupid like but it is what it is it is how it is and I think last weekend as well, if you've watched my vlog, you'd see I went up to Adita's in the north and we just spent New Year's together. So, you know, two online coaches under the same roof for two days, just, you know, doing what they love, training, eating, working. It just kind of showed me that I, I cannot wait to live that life on the daily. I love what I do. I love being a coach. I love posing. And it's something I want to do full time. And just doing that for like a week when I was off work made me realize how much I'm dying to get out of my job which also caused stress because I'm literally working three jobs right now which it's a lot it's a lot when you're trying to you know stay on top of study and stay on top of all the clients go to work but still stay on top of your own training and nutrition because that's something that I really have to pay attention to right now being post-show so it's just it's just been a lot um hopefully once january is over this does ease off a bit but i guess i just have to say hopeful that it does and i need to get out of my own head and as my coach said i need to put my big girl pants on and the thing about the manchester trip i am so excited for it because a i love manchester b i'll get to see my coach i'll get to go to the rocket seminar and we just love going to the uk so that's another thing but we're coming back sunday and we're literally moving out on the Tuesday. So, and there's obviously things we can't pack away. We're bodybuilders. We need all our kitchen stuff. I don't know what clothes I'm going to be wearing next week. I don't know what clothes I'll be fitting into in three weeks' time. So, yeah. And just the fact, like, it's not a difficult task to pack up all your stuff and go. It's, um, we're actually not moving into our own place yet. We're having a little pit stop for a month or two um at my boyfriend's parents house so the things that we don't actually need are going to go into storage so there is all of that trying to organize what do i need now what can go into storage and listen this house is big as i've said i've been in this house since i'm nine years old there's a lot of crap here even though i did do a massive clear out a while ago it's still a lot and it's a big change and change is stressful you know packing up your whole life into a couple of boxes leaving and never looking back so yes, that's what's been happening. Um, I'd say that explains the IBS flare-ups. It's just been a lot of stress, no sleep, uh, and more stress. But I do hope it settles, you know, once this is out of the way, once once everyone is out of this house. That's something I didn't mention. I'm, another reason things are changing is, yes, we're moving out, but my mom is also moving back home to Poland. So that's another thing. Um, like I knew this all along, but it just kind of hit me this week like shit My mom's not actually gonna be here. So that's interesting But I'll get to see her soon enough after anyway after she moves and then obviously we're gonna make the conscious effort of Trying to see each other as much as we can uh, But I'm 23. It's time to be a big girl. I guess and put my big girl pants on Mike um, and Yeah plans going forward. So moving out of this house is a um, I honestly don't know what's happening with the off season. I, I should know soon. Like we've still been at maintenance for the last while, obviously enjoying weekends. So it did put me in a surplus. Like we had Christmas, we had New Year's, um, obviously off plans before and after. No, not after. New Year's was my last off plan. We get an off plan tomorrow as well. 
Um, so technically I have been a bit of a surplus, but like my baseline diet on the daily when there's no occasion or whatever, we're still sub 2000 maintenance roughly, weight's been holding up until my IBS flare ups, um, weight obviously started going up then, but I'm still only like even being bloated and having issues, gut issues, like I'm still only 7 kilos up from my stage weight, so I'm doing very well. Um, so yeah, but I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, hopefully, my hopes, let's say, would be A, to really start this off season now. I'm ready. I'm ready to go into a growing phase. And I'm ready to start introducing balance into my life. Trying to figure out what is normal. And that's something that my friend Adita was trying to teach me last week when I was over there. She is five months post-show and she literally said it took her five months to kind of figure out what normal is. Like not feeling guilty about certain things um you know if i fancy a flipping protein bar having a protein bar and then not feeling guilty about it for two days straight so that's kind of my hopes for the next while introducing balance getting focused on growing on growing my physique my mindset my business this year is just all about growth in every aspect and hopefully i get to start enjoying a bit more foods on my actual meal plan not just off plan and just stop just eating chicken rice for every meal of the day that would be nice so yeah i just thought i'd keep you in the loop um when i get my check-in back i will obviously update you as well and obviously i will be showing you my meals for the rest of the day hopefully all my posing clients actually ended up rescheduling from saturday to sunday this week so i actually had no clients today just my check-ins which is good because i could actually go back to bed um from tomorrow it's literally just go 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 until the end of january February. So that's going to be interesting. So stay tuned, stay along for the ride. Um, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please do make sure to give it a like, comment, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my videos and help me out a bit. I'd love to get this channel up to a thousand subscribers um, and head over to Instagram and follow me there. So I shall see you at meal number two, I guess. Also, one more thing before I go. Why can't I be a normal human being? and not be hungry when I'm sick. I'm literally more hungry than ever. I wanna eat everything in sight. This is what I mean. We have to go through every single cupboard in the house, not just the kitchen, divide it up into what we're not bringing, what we're bringing but still using, and what we're bringing but not using for now. It's terrible. It's a hot, but I've got the best helper. You. And Cooper. Hi Cooper, we got a visitor today. We have a five bedroom house, four bathrooms, an office, a kitchen, a living room, a dining room. There is a lot to fucking get through here. Do you know, it actually wasn't that bad. Under an hour to go through everything in the kitchen bar till four, which will take us another 15 minutes, but we need to recoup and eat. I did amazing. He, he really did, he wrapped up everything. So what I did is like, I took everything and I was like, do we need this? Do we not need this? Are we taking this? Are we leaving this? And he just wrapped everything up. We ended up with two and a half massive boxes plus just Tupperware, but obviously that's something we will be using every single day. But it is time to eat. So a very staple bodybuilding meal. We are going chicken, rice, veg, and peanut butter. That was an absolute staple for me in prep when I had carbs and it's still an absolute staple right now. I eat it every single day, even on a day like today where I'm kind of macro tracking and eating meals that I fancy a bit more than usual. I'm still eating chicken rice and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. You just, you can't, you can't take it away. But like I said earlier, everything is pretty much cooked and ready to go. Um, so I've got my rice that I batch cooked during the week I still have 185 left. So this is what I do. I weigh the rice raw and then I weigh it cooked again when it's cooked and everything and I just know how much is in there. So I just do a basic calculation. I always put it into Tupperware that I know how much it weighs or I just label it um, so I just can take that off the total. And then what I do, let's say so there's 185 grams in here and I need, yeah, so I need 55. So I'm gonna go 55 divided by 185 multiplied by the weight of the cooked rice. Same thing with my chicken, just like I said, batch, cook it, we freeze it. We actually just did a batch, but I ended up with, so I'm waiting for this to cool down. It's gonna get portioned up into bags of 500 and into the freezer. But I have enough for today in here. I have 260 left over. Sad little chicken. I might pop it in the air fryer with a bit of seasoning. 
because I actually, I don't season any of my food when cooking. I always season after. And that's a habit I kind of got from prep. And then veg, I showed you my mushrooms, my tender stem, pickles. And we're gonna add a little bit of sauerkraut for those prebiotics. So let's just put this together. You really don't need to see me putting this together. It's literally just weighing it out and plopping it on a plate. And yeah, so I'll show you when I finish it and macros and calories will then be on the screen too. I promise meals get more exciting at the end of the day. similar to my last meal um same amount of chicken which i forgot to mention earlier was 115 grams of chicken so it's gonna be the same for this meal same veg probably and then we are going to go sweet potato instead of rice but what we're gonna do is so you saw me cooking the sweet potato this morning or i told you i was going to so i just cooked up 200 and it was gonna be 250 but i only had 245 left so 245 grams of sweet potato I'm going to chop it up into little wedges. I'm going to put the knockoff Nando's Perry salt on it and it's gonna go in the air fryer. And then we're gonna have peanut butter with it because sweet potato fries with peanut butter. Don't knock it till you try it. And that is not just a prep thing because I remember loving it in the off season. And if you are a satay fan like I am, I'm not doing it today just because I don't want anything spicy when my stomach hurts. But if you go peanut butter, mix it with sriracha, you get a satay sauce. And it's literally low calorie. Because like your satay, you might not know that, is very high calorie. A, the peanut butter. B, it's usually like honey or maple syrup that go in there. So obviously the calories are very high for just a bit of sauce. But if you just go peanut butter, and I'm sure you have it on your plan, or I'm sure you can macro track it in, and just add sriracha, which is pretty much calorie free. You don't need much of it. You get a satay. Um, thank you, Adita, for... Show me that by the way, and um, I can't take credit for it. So this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop these up, pop them in the air fryer, um, same veg, same chicken, and I'll show you when I finish the meal, calories, macros, on screen. I've just been editing this video by the way, cause I ended up home alone, even though there's a load of people in the house today, everybody left me, I was alone, and I told you, when I'm sick, my cravings for comfort food are sky high, and I didn't really want to be just sitting around doing nothing because honestly I was scared I'd go in the cupboards um, So I started editing this video and I actually edited everything I filmed up until now and the video is already half an hour long So which obviously you know So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet I'm gonna just throw these in the air fryer and show you my meal so take a good look at them before and you'll see them after Having condensed five meals into four, I had a lot of room to play with for my last meal because my last meal needs to be like dessert for me to be somewhat satisfied. And I find a hot, sweet bowl of oats to be very comforting before bed and I do sleep like a baby after it. So we're going 50 grams, by the way, the post shower veins always hit hard. Uh, we're going 50 grams, I'm not going to, yeah, because they're going to fall over, hold on. 
50 grams of oats that I soaked a couple of hours ago in boiling water. I just find them a lot easier to digest this way. So, oats. With that, we're going 50 grams of berries. We're going, we're not raspberries, we're going strawberries and blueberries. Um, with that, we're going to go with the best way isolate that I've tried in a very long time. Um, I actually tried it on one of the vlogs when I got it. The white chocolate hazelnut whey isolate from Train by JP. It is delicious. Now, it does not compare to the regular perform white chocolate hazelnut, but it is number two. And here is where it gets interesting because I've macro tracked a couple of bits. So, first of all, we're gonna go in with a by the way, I have 15 grams of the way. So 50 oats, 15 whey, 50 berries. We're gonna go in and try half of this because it's been sitting in my fridge and I've been waiting to try it. You know me, if you know me. Anything coconut is up my street. So we're going in with 100 grams, which is half of this pot. Yeah, half of this pot of the little protein yogurts, coconut flavor. So I'm actually gonna open it up right now. And we're just gonna take a little lick of it. That's good. I'm gonna like that. Not very coconutty, but I feel like with the oats and the whey, it'll go. And then, so I have 20 grams of nut butter, and I also saved fats in a different meal to play around with a bit more fats here and carbs. So we're gonna play around with a little bit of white chocolate chips, Biscoff, I'm not done. I found these in Aldi, they're a limited edition. They're like those little, what would they be like? Kinders? Yeah. Not really. Any shop really has them, they have them in different flavors, like you get strawberry, cookie, chocolate, caramel, hazelnut. <laughs> I like Kinders. Really? Like they're individual bars like Kinders. The mini ones. Yeah, like Kinder, the small Kinder. But, look at the flavor. Yeah, you read that right. It's Biscoff flavor. Too they're, bad it's just once a year. They're amazing. Do you know what? I have one open, so I'll actually show it to you. It actually has a strong Biscoff flavor and it has a crispy bit inside. It's delicious. So we're gonna have a little bit of this, a little bit of a scalp, a little bit of white chocolate chips, and we're gonna make up 20 grams of all these things. And for a bit of crunch, because I love a bit of crunch, we're gonna go two corn cake thins because I love them. So yeah, I'm gonna put it together, literally, um, oats in the microwave, so they warm up, then the whey goes inside, once cooked, stir it up, blueberries, strawberries, all the toppings, and then I'll show you my big bowl of oats, give you the calories, macros, the breakdown. I'll also insert the breakdown for the whole day after, and then we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow is a busy day of posing clients, and we get enough hot meal tomorrow, so we're going for a day. Um, <laughs> where are you the taking What is it called? It's uh, Italian. Not really. It's a bit of everything. Burgers. Burgers, pizza, pastas, like chicken dishes, fish dishes. They've been saying desserts. I say it and I'm gonna get a steak, but I'll probably not. I'll probably get a burger. Because I always have I'm, so. you know, I'm actually thinking chicken supreme. With sweet potato fries. Well, sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato fries. We love sweet potato Garlic mayo. And I don't think I'm gonna get a starter. I think I just want a big dessert. <laughs> Um, so, should we tell them why we're going there? Yeah. So the owner of the gym we train at, and obviously I am an ambassador for the warehouse and their athlete, the warehouse gym, the warehouse gym here in Galway. But the owner of the warehouse gym also owns Capone's and he is treating us to a dinner a to celebrate, to celebrate that. So we're very grateful to the warehouse. Um, if you're ever in the area, make sure to do check that gym out and give me a message. Could meet you. I could PT. <laughs> anyway, let's put this together and let's eat. I'm hungry and I'm dying to get to bed. Now we're gonna make this quick because there's music playing in the background and I really don't want to get copyrighted. But look how beautiful this is. 
absolutely fab. So worth saving the calories. Now, keep in mind, I don't do this every day. Normally, it's just oats, whey, berries, peanut butter, but I need a comfort food. And John has got the rest of my yogurt, biscoff, <laughs> and a protein pack. It's worth the calories. <laughs> 